Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds with Galen. We're gonna die. No. no. I can't we new fresh recording session, so I'm not sure where we are. Uh we're in the reef. There's a big bad fella up here you're real nervous about. Oh right. Um, we're hiding. Currently I believe he's chasing the hologram, wherever it may be. Um, you could deactivate that for now and then reposition it in a better spot. Also reload your gun. <laughs> mm, I don't think shooting's gonna get us out of this one. I mean, that's fair. I just, I like the bit. We're, uh, we're doing some spicy training in the Palladium Reef. Um, I'm, I kind of really enjoy the Palladium Reef for grinding up some money and experience. A lot of things give us lots of XP. Hmm. That is a Vanta Bloom I'm just seeing right now, I think. Kind of looks like a Vanta Bloom. Uh, you see that, like, flower kind of southeast of where your mouse is currently? Sure. Uh, There's certainly a lot going on up there that has nothing to do with us currently I think, I think something has burgeoning and is creating a lot of plants all right let's get up there we're gonna have to get eyes get boots on the moon you know do you want to make oh that's not a bad idea we could make some freeze grenades um wonder what would be good i mean we could make some freeze grenades that's not never a bad idea i like freeze grenades we could try some flashbang grenades um do we yet have protection against flashbang grenades like their current face wear uh rings useless rings they provide AV, so they're not useless, but I understand. Um, yeah, all of that is fine. Let's uh, pull out our, let's use our freeze grenades to start things off. Oh, well, that's not good. You're just going to have to wait a few turns. That's the, that's the, the, the lad making their move. I'm pretty sure it's a, a servant of toe and they are a, a kind of like a dervish, legendary dervish, I think. Um, our mental armor is our best defense against them. That and never letting them touch us. So we're going to have to wait a few turns. We'll, we'll have to wait for them to give up on their force field. Tempted to say, screw this and just like, let's leave. But there's a chair up there. Do we want the chair? Is that is that why we're here? Yeah. All right. I'm willing to believe that. Ah, oh, what's that? That is our first spicy plant. Gorged growth. That's the first plant that moves. And it's kind of creepy. I've I have always found those to be really creepy. I don't know how um, I don't know how they work to be honest. Okay, uh, force field to the northwest disappears. Promising. Oh, it's just creating more. I think we should get out of here. I think this is not worth it, especially since we're trapped. We could fly out and like fly back. Crush in. us to death. Right? No, we, no, they can't. I don't think they can. But um, this is just not ideal, and it's not going to end anytime soon. Hmm. 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 So like, I'd say throw your wings on. You can't do that because yet it has to be visible. You could get, stand on the bookcase and then like, I mean, there's there's that. That's an interesting idea. I'm not sure if it'll help, but I have a funny feeling there's more force field above you. Uh oh, yeah. Well, unfortunately, we didn't take that mod. That's me go through force fields. You could take a phase injector and then phase through it. That's fun. You want to try that? Mm hmm. Let's uh, look through your tonics. This is kind of a waste, but I mean, uh, generally speaking, I never end up using these anyway. Uh, I think it might actually be shade oil, but it could be skulk. Have a look at what shade oil does before you use it. Ability to phase out of the spatial dimension for 79, seven to nine rounds. So there you go. Oh, we got four of those, so we're yeah. good. Yeah, go ahead and slap, slap one on your wrist. All right. So now you have the ability to phase. Uh, it's probably on page two. Yep. Go ahead and activate Can I that. go through walls or just force fields? Uh, either or. You can go through walls. You can go through either. Oh, now he's trapped himself. What a dingus. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you're that. There is a Vanta blade or Vanta Phantom. Oh, there's a bunch of scary things there. Um, let's go west. I don't like that whole area. There's a huge. There's basically a big pocket of uh, darkness in that area. This dervish has burgeoning, and it's actually kind of spooky. Okay. They're, they have the ability to summon plants and they have it at a very high level so they they're they're going to be summoning a lot of friends they can just continue to do that forever yeah we could try and disable that by astrally burdening them i think but i don't know if we don't have normality gas grenades i don't know if we have any form of normality no mostly you've decided that wasn't for us and it would never come in handy well, there's the ontological anchors and i'm not sure how they work and most of the reason i stay away from normality is because i don't know how it works so um yeah i mean you could just 
throw some grenades. If we had some more thermals, we could try and melt the wall. <laughs> Gorge growth takes 77 damage. Wow. Uh, we don't seem to get any experience for even killing those guys, so that kind of sucks. I want to see our friend. He's in there now. He's trapped. He's trapped in that hole? Yeah, we phased out right as he exited. Or entered, I mean. And his force fields just, like, refused to stop. Can we use that somehow? Probably not, huh? Uh, the force fields? What do you yeah, mean? I don't know. I mean... Can we, like, gas him? We... Gas him, Phelps. Does force field stop everything? Kinda. Yeah. All right. We we kind of had something. He's with just the... a big legendary boy. Yeah, he is. I I I I understand the temptation to to continue this. Um. Oh. Oh, he teleported it out. There we go. He's right in front of you. Uh, confuse mm -hmm. him. Let's confuse him. I don't think I have that. You do. Page one. It's because you're wearing a helmet. Right. My hat. Confused. All right. We could just slam? smack him a few times. Yeah, slam. Slam works. Slam and then charge. Stunned. Okay. Um, you could just try hitting him a couple of times and see how that goes. Yeah. Confusion has a long... Uh, I'd say while you have the moment, maybe deactivate and reactivate the hologram to offer yourself some extra protection. Yeah, exactly. Um, we could just shoot him. We, we have options. Yeah, that doesn't seem to do a lot, does it? Three. That's not nothing, but it's really close to nothing. He's still confused. We could still... We could just try and smack him. Juke and then smack. That would uh, at least offer you a f an attack. Remain stunned. Yeah, I mean, I'd say go to town. Don't do it too quickly because we do want to gauge how badly we're going to get hit when he finally wakes up. Certainly keeping him stunned is like our best asset. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Did he go up? He might have gone up, yeah. Let's um, will we follow. I'm fighting some gorged growth. He probably uh, spawned some more where he is. Oh! Ooh. Oh god okay whatever you do make sure you're not in that blinking red box uh right now the gorge growth is in the way so that's fine can we can you get eyes on what's directly left or uh, right to your gorge growth what is that spiky thing ice urchin cherub and psychic thrall oh god you really are in the thick of it right now cold resist ice breath um so if that thing uses its ice breath on you you may just die Okay. I'd say get back into the, your other tile, away from all of that. Mm. Now, you still have phase. You're still phased somehow. I don't know why. So you could phase through that force field on your left. Right. So probably I'm on page, phase? page two. Oh, no. I don't. I guess it, you don't have phase. You do have DV. Uh, you're mm -hmm. not in, like, immediate... Oh, the urchin followed. Why did the urchin say follow? Every, everything went with him. I wonder if the urchin um, counts as a plant. I wonder if the dervish uh, summoned the, the urchin. I don't know what to tell you here. Um, the kraken isn't aggressive to Oh, it is aggressive to you. You want it. You have to get out. You have to fly <laughs> right now. You have to leave. There is there is no salvaging this anymore. You may actually die just by turning that on. Yeah, we, we leave. <laughs> Everything about this is awful. I'm sorry. I'm I'm very sorry we had to bail. Cowardice. You had a kraken. That's fine. You had an aggressive kraken staring you down. There's nothing you can do there. Uh, let's let's uh, make a checkpoint at Freed Yid, Yid Freehold. We we accomplished quite a lot, and uh, I want to, I want to make that cannon solid. Uh, we could buy a couple things. Um, we're only. 12 or 13 minutes into this so we don't necessarily want to do too much but uh oh yeah we are close to over encumbered so we might want to see if we can sell a few things i don't know what we have that's encumbering us oh armor start there oh yeah um i mean we could keep that 25 pounds can we modify that so that it's not 25 pounds you have very much convinced me that uh willowy is good by the way i i have actually we can yeah go for it I, uh, I have taken uh, steps in my own campaign to try and make Willowy a thing, because that is quite nice. Um, we we should be, like, 100 pounds lighter if we can be. I really like the Enigma cap. That thing is, like, really serving you well. Um, yeah, we can't really do anything with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I gotta get a second head. It, that is very doable. Not for us, but, you know, for a mutant. Uh, why don't we take a look at our general keeps have a look at our I'm sorry what our our, uh, our uh, tinkerer merchant see what they've got for sale they by the way uh they will tend to sell a um, microcontroller 
Uh, this bits? One? Yeah, that's the one. They they have some high tier bits. Never, I don't think meta crystals ever, but um, certainly AI microcontrollers. Bip. Bip. Detuned antimatter micro reactor. What is that? Is that a six? That is a six. Expensive, but are we in need of six? I see. Yeah, that's a very good sound. <laughs> I can make them all. I can make all the sounds. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, interpolators, interpolators. That might be a face slot that gives us night vision. Uh, a fungicide pump, you know? Big math for me on that one. All right. I, I'd say we throw some money at that antimatter microreactor. Okay. And um, we could look at getting the night sight interpretator. I mean, the 7-bit is going to require tinkering 3, just so you know. I have now been clued in. Nerf uh, informed me that... Uh, you can tell what um, what a data or like a, a blueprint requires based on what bits you use. And so um, after at like seven and eight bits require tinkering three. We, have, we could sell those jeweled sandals. We got those from the uh, sad bear. What else we got? We got a lot of fun ingredients to play with. We're going to want to keep that quantum mode. Oh, we've got some. Uh, oh, we have the cyber. You got the ceremonial vibro kopesh. Oh, that, that actually pisses me off. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't even use that. I've been trying in my playthrough in several different ways to get that very weapon because it's really nice. You notice the look at the penetration on that. Do you see the little wavy lines? Mm -hmm. That means um, basically it meets whatever AV you're fighting. So it's not like high pen, but it's like enough pen to always pen. And then it's 1d10 plus 2. So it does a like like a really decent amount of damage. It's a really good weapon. You don't. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it. Yeah, go ahead. I, honestly, you can't go go for it because it's a long blade. You're not gonna be able to use it. Uh, you can sell the sharpened polyp. We're gonna have to buy some more stuff here, man. I might suggest the night sight interpretator, even if we're not there yet. Oh, uh, when do we get an eigen rifle? Or have I been having you carry that around? I might have been yes. having you carry that around because... I feel like that's a new one, and potentially we've got two in a box. Yeah. Um, I might have... Yeah, like, you might want to consider an Eigen rifle over your sniper rifle. Um, and I see it's got a nuclear cell, which is quite nice. Uh, it'll it'll absolutely chew through that nuclear, uh, nuclear cell like it's nothing. But it's still pretty good. Yeah. Um... You want you're suggesting potentially getting this to remove our eyeballs, and then we can just wear this instead. Yeah, basically, and we can modify this also to have uh, other effects. But I know it's a it's a pretty good item. But we like need something to throw money at right now, so we might as well make it that. We can always uh, bail on it later. I mean, there are other shopkeeps that we can have a look at if we don't want to do that. Uh, oh, we can sell that crystal agus. That's good money right there, and that's also shedding quite a lot of weight. Um, get rid of our copper nuggets. Oh, hey, I have I have something fun to teach you. Uh, after we we make this trade, I have something really fun to show you. We'll see about that. I think it's pretty fun. Yeah, we can we can just like go with it. You can sell it. Uh, I guess you need the tattoo gun actually. Mm. You could sell the sower seed. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. Yuckweed stem for a little Fine. bit of extra. Yuckweed stem for a bit of extra trade goods. Um. Bop cheek is worth quite a bit. You could sell a couple bop cheek. We can cook with it as well, but just sell a book and then I think we're fine. Okay. No psionic aptitude. Yeah. In density. Leave us with enough water. Yeah. All right. We're still pretty heavy. So check this out. Do you see um? Do you see that uh, yellow tube below you? You can sure. zoom zoom in a little bit. Whoop. Yeah, that one. Let's Whoop. interact with that. You can take all of that. So that's all like really good bits like trade goods but did you notice something about them do you know what that thing is it's a rock tumbler a rock right? tumbler and did you notice how smooth the uh yeah you got it you got it go ahead and throw in uh we've got a rough jasper gemstone yeah you work yeah here you go and now um when we exit this and wait a few turns you can actually see the tumbler like animating you gotta you gotta wait a few what's happening i'm pressing the button but nothing's yeah, that's... Uh, did you hit the num lock by accident? No, it's on. Okay, should be working. <laughs> oh, the rock tumbler tumbles a rough jasper gemstone into a smooth jasper gemstone. It's already done it. There you go. And that improves the uh, the cost, the value of the uh, gemstone by quite a bit. Well, hot damn. 
Was it fun? Did we do it? We did it. Nice. Inspired. Um, do you want to keep trying? Do you want to try something else? Do you want to try Dream Smoke? Let's give it. Let's let's try. Dream we're Smoke. getting comments about it. We're 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 making the people mad. I don't know if that we I, keep uh, saying we're gonna use it and that we never use it. I vaguely know what it does now. Um, I think you can just just Dream Smoke is fine. It's no fun. Well, it gives you an idea of what it does, and then we can try combining it with things. But we've only got two. We can buy more. Ugh. There you go. As long as your body isn't your own, you gain quick. How do I feel someone's body? Well, that's a thing, isn't it? I guess it must be. Um, so it offers quotation marks disassociative effects. Mm. Can we take those? No, no, we no. can't. Um, so I haven't yet figured out how to like best use that, but it's going to be more effective for a mutant that has like domination. Uh, which lets them basically swap their bodies with someone else. There's other mutations and other effects. Um, it's some like very, very meta stuff in um, IMO. Uh, and I haven't yet figured out how to like best. So kind of disappointing. I know uh, like we were holding on to that for quite a long time. And um, I think it can very like be really effective if you know how to use it. But I don't. Let's uh, let's check out our um, plant merchant Tiddlywinks. I'm just going to call him Tiddlywinks because uh, that's vaguely what his name looks like to me. Where does he live? East. East stairwell. Oh, hello. He's got an Isla's Crab oh. Shell. Nice. Isla's Crab Shells are pretty good shields. Oh. I think we're, ours is better, though. Oh, uh, someone made a fire right here. Probably you. It was. It was me. It was you. It was me all along. All along. It's, uh, yeah, so our plant down there, Tiddlywinks. Tilly Fergowitz, what are you talking about? I can't Gret. pronounce that. Tilly Fergowitz. I don't know, I just, I feel problematic saying that. That's on you. I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, they don't have any, I don't think they have any renewed goods. I'm recognizing some No, of we this. were just, we were just here. Oh, geez. Okay. It's been a couple days in the, whatever, where, where the reef. Yeah. Then you got upset, because I made some new friends. What, what friends did you make that upset me? Um... There was the fella and the plants and some kind of kraken. Yeah, that okay, that just happened though. Hmm. Yeah. That's why we left. All right. You got nothing. There's a kaleidoslug farmer to your southeast. They might have something. The yellow yellow lad. They're, oh, I guess Rockus. I guess they do have a name. I haven't really interacted. You just never asked. I've never really interacted with a lot of these characters. Or if I have Hey, I'm ba I'm a Batman. I ran she's here buttes. Are those giant slugs? What do you think of this place? It is what it is. I like them. <laughs> we'll see what they got for sale. Ooh. Oh, not a lot. I would have thought they would have more. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> That's Love my new em. greeting forever. Hey, yeah. Um, let's, why don't we, why don't we delve back into the palladium? Oh. Well, you don't know. We did, we did so well. Just, uh, anywhere? Anywhere, yeah. I we go down. I still say um, that like level 30 is a healthy number for Tomb of the Eaters. Uh, we might want to get more reputation in general, which would mean exploring the, the salt dunes. I don't know how you feel about that. Um, we did it once and it proved to be kind of fruitless, which was just kind of bad luck because it can be extremely fruitful. Lots of fish on the screen. This is more like what we want. We've got Kaleido slugs. We've got plasma jellies. We've got... Like, this is, this is great. We probably also want to, like, whoever wins that bout to our southeast, we want to kill whatever's left. Oh, that was a nice grenade. That was an excellent grenade right there. You certainly woke up, everyone. <laughs> Several people are typing. Let's throw another grenade. Uh, you didn't kill him, but you got close. Kaleidoslug injured. Plasma jellyfish. Who knows? Kaleidoslug is very tanky, but so is everything around here. I don't i mean yeah it's a good call actually nice maybe uh throw out our hologram i noticed there's an x on us i'm not sure what that means yet i think the frog has grabbed us oh was trying to grab us yeah uh you are latched on to nice neutral they're yeah. not actually aggressive to us why are they attacking yeah, your blew, hologram then? blew them up so much i know that's weird nice shot nice hit with the and yeah, they're hitting now you. he's mad weird mm -hmm do a jump we <laughs> i love the animation for jump you want to throw another grenade 
Oh, confusion. That's a great call. You're getting, uh, using your assets to the best of your ability. Kaleidoslug injured. We killed the jelly. That's 850 XP. Good stuff. Kaleidoslug left. Why does the Kaleidoslug keep ending up on good terms with you? Or is that a different one? Um, could just hit the jellyfish. I don't, I really don't think that they do, they do all that much. They'll probably coat you in plasma, um, which is not a bad thing. Like it's, it's not good, but it's only really bad if you're, uh, if there's things that'll like fluctuate your temperature. Well, they do hit hard, don't they? Oh, but you killed it. The thing about plasma that makes it really spicy is it, um, if you're coated in plasma, you can't regulate your temperature. So if you're really hot, you can't cool down. So it's really good if you have like plasma grenades to then couple them with either freeze grenades or uh, thermal grenades because then you can just like melt things. Lido Slug is just kind of taking things on the chin. Nice, good hits. It's still neutral to you. How is this happening? That is so weird. It's like you're directly shooting it and yet, yet it's like totally cool with you. Well, the other one came back. The other one came back. There must be a trick with kaleidoscopes or kaleidoslugs that I don't know yet. They're still on good terms with you, which is hilarious. They're both injured. They've got to be good XP. I mean, they're average, which means they probably offer at least some XP. Wounded. Badly wounded. Try not to blow up the corpse. Oh, okay, we, we didn't get a corpse. I'm pretty sure we get something cool if we can get a Kaleidoslug corpse. Uh, all right. Well, we killed them both. That was some pretty good XP. We've got some <laughs> more Svartim on our left. We've got a Svartim on our right. Ooh, more plasmas. Nice. Yeah, by the time it gets to you, it's almost dead. Trying to kick it. Ouch. Not going great. No. Ow. Ow. I might uh, suggest a salve. Even... Yeah, I mean, you can juke and, and jump away. That's not a bad idea. Just to, so that when you salve, you don't take another hit. Hmm. Oh, that worked. Nice. That's it. That was weird. I don't know what that was. Did he disappear at the tile again? No, he died. He died? Oh, I missed it. Oh. I shot him and he died. And I deactivated my hologram. Let's have a quick look at coded in plasma. If you hit X and go to uh, press E for effects. Yeah. So you take a lot of extra damage from heat, cold, and electric. Um, which is a good, it's good information for us. What you doing? I just clean myself. <laughs> can you what? Clean myself? You can wait for the effect to disappear. Just like wait like a few turns. But like plasma grenades and a flamethrower. Chef's kiss. One one of my bet one of my favorite combos. There you go. You're good. Uh, you want to end the episode there? I guess so. We didn't do a lot, but you know we didn't die, and I think that that's a win in my book. Yeah. Oh. All right. And we cooked with with dream smoke, so I mean someone out there is appeased. That right? one guy is totally appeased. I didn't actually see that coming. I'm gonna have to go look at it now. But anyway. We were causing them pain, emotional pain, <laughs> every time we said it and didn't do it. Yeah. Well. I, I hope you enjoyed our disassociative cooking effects. I guess we'll clean this tile and then we'll end. We can end while I'm shooting. It doesn't... Yeah, I, all right. Well, if you are enjoying uh, this series, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing. More of this. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.